So I'm a big fan of haul videos. I do make quite a few of them. This haul's a little bit different, however, because they are all poetry collections and I got them all from the library. So I have got tons of great poetry here and I didn't spend any money at all. As you may be aware, I'm gonna be launching a poetry series on this channel because I am organized and I don't know, I just like poetry. The collections I'm going to be talking about today probably won't feature in the series for quite a while because I'm going to be starting with poets I'm very familiar with, but you can expect to see some of these in later episodes. I haven't started the series yet. If you can think of a name for it, please help me because I can't think of anything. But the series will basically be an introduction to poetry and helping it be more accessible and helping viewers discover new poets and learn more about poets they've maybe heard of a lot but have been too intimidated by to start. I got a number of collections by Scottish poet Jackie Kay. I read her novel Trumpet during my second semester of my second year of university and oh my god I loved that book so much. I'm not really going to go into these in a huge amount of detail because I will be doing that as part of Jackie Kay's episode of said unnamed poetry series but a lot of Jackie Kay's work deals with being black, being Scottish, being a woman, being a queer woman, being a black child adopted by white parents. So I am thoroughly looking forward to reading through all of these collections. I have almost finished her first collection, Adoption Papers, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it and already have so many thoughts that I want to share with you. Next I got Waxworks by Frida Hughes and you may know this lady as the daughter of Sylvia Plath and Ted Hughes, but I actually can't see this anywhere on the collection. I can't see it mentioned anywhere. So Maybe, I think maybe she's keen to be seen as a poet in her own right without the attachment of her parents, which I think is awesome. So I probably shouldn't be mentioning that. As far as I know, this collection is kind of Frida's reinventions of various figures from mythology and the Bible, which I am totally down for that. So I am really looking forward to this collection. I really hope that I enjoy it and want to pick up her other collections. I have Jane Holland's A Brief History of the Disreputable Woman and... That title just grabbed my attention. Jane actually used to be a snooker player and has now turned to poetry, so I'm really, really interested in seeing if that element of her life comes through in her poetry. So yeah, very much looking forward to getting to this one. Next I have New Wings by Robin Bolam, and I don't know anything about this collection, just for some reason that title, New Wings, really appeals to me. That is a huge amount of what this trip to the library was for me. I picked up some poets that I was familiar with, like Jackie Kay, or some whose names I recognise, like Frida Hughes, but I really did want to discover poets that I hadn't come across before. This is a collection about different kinds of beginnings and momentous occasions in one's life. This is a collection whose cover totally drew me in, and then I read the back and I was just absorbed, I totally wanted to pick it up, and that was Sugar Paper Blue by Ruth Fainlight. A lot of this collection is about Ruth's visit to Leningrad in 1965, her mother and her aunt's experiences as immigrants in New York City, and a lot of Russian history as well. I was really, really into Russian history when I was in school, so I'm really looking forward to seeing a more poetic take on it. I also have Marion Lomax's Raiding the Borders, and I'm just going to read you the blurb of this because I found it super intriguing. These poems raid borders of time and place through several centuries up to the present. Like geographical divisions, those between history and myth, despair and hope, possession and loss are never fixed. From the borders of Northumbria, there are forays into Scotland, Wales, Southern England, Ireland and beyond which show people living with boundaries which they either dare to challenge or are unable to cross. This just sounds like it encapsulates so much stuff that I am really interested in, so I'm really looking forward to getting to this one as well. Next is the collection I'm probably most excited about, and that is The Heavy Petting Zoo by Claire Pollard. And I just... How could I not resist it? It's called The Heavy Petting Zoo. Claire wrote most of these poems while she was still in school in Bolton and this was published in 1998 when she was only 19 years old. So if I really enjoy this collection, I'm looking forward to seeing what she's been doing with the rest of her life as she published more collections and stuff like that. The blurb says that she was too young perhaps to expect anyone to take her seriously, but young enough to question that assumption and much else besides. Her poems are fresh and energetic, 
barbed with a modern girl's natural cynicism, but tempered with wide-eyed hope as well as a wry acceptance. So I am just so looking forward to reading this. I think it'll probably be the collection I read next after the Adoption Papers by Jackie Kay. Finally is the only collection I picked up that wasn't published by Blood Axe. I didn't like go there with the intent to just pick up Blood Axe collections, but it just kind of happens. This one is published by Seren and it is Catherine Simmons' Sunday at the Skin Laundrette. So as far as I know, this collection is kind of about people doing mundane, boring, everyday tasks, but then it switches into a more kind of existential or spiritual kind of take on things. The collection comes quite well critically acclaimed. It was shortlisted for the Guardian First Book Award, um, it was a Poetry Book Society recommendation, and it was shortlisted for the Forward Prize for Best First Collection. There are also a number of kind of testimonials for poets I really like, like Jackie Kay and also Michael Simmons Roberts who wrote Dry Salter. So these are all the poetry collections that I picked up from the library. Um, I'm gonna try and get through these at quite a steady pace. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you have read any of these poets before or if any of their collections sound intriguing to you. Also, if you have any suggestions for what I should call my poetry series, because I am still kind of at a loss. I'm supposed to be a creative person. And if my poetry series sounds like something you might be interested in, be sure to make sure you're subscribed. Be sure to make sure. I make new videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, so you can look forward to that kind of consistency.